$2 billion in three this could happen to you if you knew how to make engaging subtitles like these creators so that you could charge $30 to $40 per edit. If you watch this video till the end, I promise you that you wouldn't need any subtitles video ever. And not only this, but I will tell you some editing mistakes which you should avoid at all cost while making subtitles. So if you are curious to know and want to learn in a very quick and easy way so that you could handle multiple high paying clients and become the top 1% of video editors, then stick around until the very end. So this is the video which I'm going to be using for this tutorial. You can download it from the link in the description. So initially, we have to generate the subtitles. You can type manually, but I would suggest to use Premiere Pro to generate subtitles, as it will take eternity to type with hands. And if you want to make a living working as a video editor, then you should stop doing it as soon as possible. But if you can't use Premiere Pro due to some reason, then just transcribe the audio using any website and copy paste to speed up the workflow. So let's drag this video to Premiere Pro and make a new composition. By the way, if you don't know how to generate the subtitles, then check out my this video for in-depth understanding. Let's get started. Go to Window to bring the text panel. Now I will select the video which I want to transcribe and click Transcribe Sequence. Click on this blue box to generate transcription. Next, click on Create Caption and copy my settings. Now we will select all the caption and convert it into the graphics layer so that we can use animation presets. Now we will select layers by pressing Ctrl plus A and right click, then select Replace with After Effects Composition. At this point we are in After Effects and this is the point Things just got out of hand. You can see here that our texts are under the pre-comps, which is not good for us because if we want to change the fonts or use any text presets, we have to go inside the pre-comp and then we can do it. And we have to do it for each text, which is gonna take a lot of time, but we wanna become the top 1%. So we have to unpre-compose each and every text using any script. For this task, I'm going to use Reach Script, which can extract all the texts from the pre-comps one by one. To do this, we will select all the pre-comps and click on this button, which will start doing its magic. All right, the main tutorials is starting from here. Next, when our subtitles are generated, first thing to do is select your font. I am going to use Poppins Bold as this is very popular and trending font and it looks very professional. So I will select any one text and right click on it, then select them by Theer Label. Now our all the text layers are selected. Now you can choose your font. I have downloaded this video from a popular creator for analysis. And if you take a look in these trending videos, then you will figure it out that the text reveals word by word. So first of all, you will need to use some presets. Some of them can be found pre-built in After Effects, and rest of them can be found in the description which I have found on the internet. So after downloading these presets, simply copy and paste them into presets folder in the After Effects directory. You should now restart the After Effects. So first of all, we will select the text and arrange it like this frame. To do this, you have to select the text which you want to scale up. You can do it by clicking before the first character of the word, and then holding shift click at the last character of the word, and then increase or decrease its size from this slider. Align the text from left or right using this paragraph panel, which helps a lot. You can also highlight the important text, which will level up your edits and make people think that you have put a lot of effort into this video. It will take a lot of time doing this process, but don't do it for each text. You can make it simple and it will still look decent. So next, it's time to put animation for this. You can use presets which I have given in description box. These are the presets which you should learn by its name so that you could search it up directly. Now select your text and press I to jump at the first frame of the text layer and then double click on this preset called fade up words to apply on your text layer. Now you can see our text is revealing with time but we have to make sure that it reveals completely to do so. Click U while selecting the text layer and now you can see the keyframes. And this last keyframe is responsible for completing the animation and we have to drag it here so that it reveals completely. You have to do this in future for every text layer, which seems it take a lot of time, but it doesn't. Now you can use some other presets so that it doesn't look repetitive and boring. So our next preset is Blur by Words. Now again, we will go at the first frame and double click on the preset while selecting the layer, and you can adjust keyframe to reveal the words according to the voiceover. Now our third preset name is Word Processor. This time, I am not repeating same things, just see what it looks like. This kinda seems like typing effect, like typewriter preset. Next preset is Scale Up by Words, and hear how it looks. As its name, it scales up word by word. Next, our fifth preset is Fade Up Smooth, and after applying this preset on the text, it looks very nice. Moving ahead, our last preset is Random Flicker. By its name, you can figure it out what it does, and it looks damn cool. You should use it in your edits. 
All right, so if you are still here, then I am gonna tell you some amazing secrets which videos editors realize after losing some clients or get this by purchasing paid courses. If you are serious about this and willing to make a career in video editing, then here are some pro tip you must know. I have included this at the end of the video so that most of the viewers exit the video and I do not want to increase the competition in the market. Tip number one, deep glow is like salt in food. If you put it in right amount, it makes the food delicious, but if you throw it too much, it will make you to throw the food. And same rule can be applied to texts while applying deep glow. In the world today, the video editor think they can smash deep glow on everything. And viewers will start giving super chats. Nope, that's not going to happen. So please don't put deep glow on every single layer you see. I know you bought it with your hard-earned money. Coming back to the topic, always use deep glow in a right amount so that it doesn't blind the viewers. Tip number two, instead of highlighting too many words, just make it italic or change the fonts. You have seen on Instagram or YouTube that some editors pair some fonts which looks very good if paired together. Of course, of course you should not any horror fonts while editing a gaming video, I think you got the point. What I am trying to say. Tip number three, sound design. Do this only if your client is paying a heavy amount, or if you are starting out on Fiverr and want to get five-star review in the initial stages of your freelancing career. There are some sound effects like click sound or typing sound, which can be used to level up your edits and always reduce their audio level to minus 15 to 30, otherwise it becomes annoying for the viewers. Tip number four, always use this overlay as a guide. This will give you an idea that how your video should look like when it will be uploaded on YouTube or any other platform. Make sure your subtitles do not cross these areas because audience will not be able to read your subtitles, which will eventually have a bad impact on your video. You can download this overlay in the description. This is all the small details which I thought I must share to you guys, and if you think it helps you, you can give this video a like. This motivates me a lot and encourage me to make content for you. If you have any questions, you can ask it in comment section. And one more thing, always include your best edits in portfolios so that your clients do not vanish like ghosts.